In today's video, I wanna share with you one of my favorite budget lenses for sports video and photography. If you're a Canon shooter, today's video is for you. I wanna share with you one of my favorite budget lenses that I just used recently to shoot an NFL game, and it is the Canon EFS 55 to 250. Now it only works, EFS means it only works on crop sensors, either DSLRs or Canon cinema cameras, but it is the 35 equivalent of 88 millimeters to 400. So it's a really broad range from decently wide into all the way to the 400 millimeter reach range, which for me shooting football, I can see in the end zone touchdowns, and I can also see all the way to the middle of the field. So I really love the reach on this lens. The other thing I love about it is the price. Brand new, it'll cost you about $300 and used, you can get it anywhere from $100 to $150. From the research I've done, the first version is better than the second. Actually, the first version is a little bit sharper, so they say, and then it also has the STM, which is the silent autofocus motor. So that was the one I re rented here recently. We all know the 7200 really is the holy grail of shooting sports. It's a fantastic lens, especially if you're using the 2.8 three version, it's just, it's incredibly sharp. The 2.8 is super fast and it's really just really the gold standard for sports lenses. Now that lens is probably gonna cost you around two grand, a thousand if it's used or an older version. And so what I really wanna hone in today is that, well, yes, this 55 to 250 is not gonna give you that 70 to 200, 2.8, but if you're, if you're starting out just getting into sports photography and video, this lens is a really solid option for you as it gives fantastic quality and really won't break your bank. For me, travel is a huge thing. Carrying a suitcase in and out of airports and NFL stadiums, I love to try to pack as light as I can. And as you can see here, compared next to the 70 to 200, it is significantly smaller. It's about half the size because it is not a constant f-stop, which is really one of the big drawbacks to the lens. So the aperture will change as you zoom in and out. But most likely if you're just starting out, you're shooting either your kids games or a local high school game, most of that will be earlier in the day. And so you don't have to deal too much with low light. And so for me, I shot a one o'clock afternoon game and all I did, I would set my exposure on my ISO for the very end of the range where the aperture was a lot smaller to then the wider when I would zoom out. So I would just set that exposure manually so that when I was zooming in and out, this exposure wouldn't change drastically. And I really didn't have too many issues. So I will say if you are doing a lot of night shooting, I probably wouldn't recommend this lens. I would look at either the 70 to 200 F4 IS, which is another great option. If you're not trying to break the bank with the 2.8, that was one of the very first lenses that I started out with. That'll set you around $800. So here's a quick montage of the shots I got during that game just to show what this lens is capable of. If you're a little bit on the reservation, if, oh, it's like a cheaper plastic lens, maybe I shouldn't go for it. But for me, it's really all about performance and I actually enjoyed shooting on this lens. One quick thing too, for all you Canon shooters with the built-in IS and the STM, whether you're shooting video or photography, the autofocus is incredible. And then the built-in IS really helps with the shake and the movement to make sure that video or your photo is really still and stabilized. So just to round things up, if you are a Canon shooter on an APS-C crop sensor, I shot this on a Canon C200. If that is the camera of your choice and you're really looking to not break the bank on a telephoto lens, then I would really look at the Canon 55 to 250 as a starting point. And then as you get more gigs, build up your portfolio, you can move up into the 70 to 200s, 2.8, 300, 400 millimeters that will really give you that extra reach in that shine. But for those of you starting out, I would really recommend this lens. And before we go, I just wanna give a quick shout out to Cuts. They are doing a fantastic early Black Friday sale, 30% off. Make sure you hit the link below. I love all their clothes. Their winter drops so far have been amazing, including this hoodie. They've been dropping bomber jackets, fleece sweaters, all the good stuff. So make sure you click the link below and get some cuts gear for yourself or for your loved one this holiday season. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could hit subscribe and that like button, I would be much appreciative of it. We've got the vlog rolling each and every game this season. I'll be with the Seahawks the rest of the way, so make sure you tune in for that. Hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next time.